I love to sing your praises I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth to show the way From the earth to the cross my dad to pay From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high Lord, I lift your name on high Lord, I love to sing your praises came to save us You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross by death to pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky Lord I lift your name on came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross my dad to pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky Lord I lift your name on high from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky Lord I lift your name on high Hey, New Hope Kids. My name is Miss Brooke, and welcome to New Hope Kids Online. I am so glad you guys are here. If you are in preschool or in kindergarten, you're in the right place because you are my New Hope Nuggets. Tiny but mighty, but also very, very important and very special. And this video is for you. So we started the new series last week, and we're talking about subscribe. And it all has to do about following Jesus and listening to what he's trying to tell us and what he's trying to teach us. So let me ask you guys a question. Have you ever heard of something called Snapchat? Snapchat is a social media app. A lot of people have it on their phones and you just send pictures to your friends. But the thing that's really fun is the filters. And what a filter is, it makes you look a little different than you really look. Like some filters might give you like a little reindeer nose and little ears, or maybe make you look like a kitten or a puppy or make your tongue stick out. There's lots of filters like that. And they're a lot of fun, but they're not really a clear picture of what you really look like. And see the great thing about God and Jesus is he does know what you look like. He knows what you look like for real, but he also knows what you're like on the inside. He knows what you're afraid of. He knows um, how nice you can be sometimes. He knows the things that we are sad about. He knows things that we've done wrong. He knows all of that stuff about us, but he still loves us anyway. He loves us so much. And here's another fun fact. Did you know that God can forgive you like so fast. Now, when we do something wrong, um, whether we meant to or not, we have to say we're sorry, right? And that person that we hurt can choose to forgive us. Sometimes we have to forgive other people for hurting us. Now, forgiving doesn't mean we let someone keep hurting us. God doesn't want us to do that. But it does mean that we kind of take those bad feelings in our heart and go, I don't want to feel those anymore. And guess what? That's what God does with us. Because if we just ask him 
if we know like, oh, I messed up and I know I messed up and we pray to God and say, God, I'm sorry, please help me not to do that again. Guess what? God forgives you just like that. So in our Bible story, John the Baptist is finally going to meet Jesus. He's going to baptize him as a matter of fact. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever like tried so, so hard to do something and, and no matter how hard you tried, you just wound up making a bad choice? Well, sometimes we even hurt, hurt people that way, even if we don't mean to. Well, when John the Baptist was baptizing all those people, they would come to him and he would baptize them with water and they would ask for forgiveness. He would forgive them, but then they'd go back and they'd like do the same thing all over again. And then they'd have to come back and be baptized again. And it kind of kept going like that around in a circle. But the thing is that John the Baptist knew that nobody is perfect. He, the people in the Bible needed saving. And so do we. And John knew that. John knew that we could never be perfect. But we do have a perfect God who can forgive us. We needed somebody to save us. And forgive us and guess what that person who saves and forgives is Jesus you guys you know I want you to show me for a minute make a face like what if Jesus walked in here right now what kind of face would you make I think I would be like Jesus oh my gosh you're here how about this now in that same story where John is baptizing Jesus that day that John baptized him. After he baptized him, the Bible tells us that the sky opened up and God spoke. And he said, you are my son whom I love. I am well pleased with you. So God was telling Jesus, you're my son. I love you and I'm proud of you. And he said that out loud so that people could hear. Now, imagine you're in that crowd by the river and this guy walks up and gets baptized. You didn't know who he is. He's some guy named Jesus. And the sky opens up and you hear God talk. I mean, then what would your face look like? I think I would be like, what is happening? That would be crazy, right? You know, when that did happen the people knew that jesus had come to save them and john was so excited to tell everybody about jesus and he wanted us to know that we can know forgiveness through jesus ever and forever and ever some of you have been asking me what blog stands for it's short for video log or video blog vloggers make videos about all sorts of stuff how to make stuff what they think of a new toy how to play a new game and anything else they know a lot about i don't know a lot but i like talking about god my family and my friends like you so Make sure you subscribe to Callie's World. Today is an exciting day. I have my best outfit ready to go and the best gift picked out. Why am I so happy you might be asking? Today is my friend Ellie's birthday. The invitation says, <coughs> The party starts Saturday at 12 p.m. And now it's 11 a.m. Only one more hour to go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I have the day of the week and the time right, but the wrong date. I'm a week later. Her party was last week. I missed her part. Oh no, this feels awful. I feel like such a bad friend. I wonder if she will ever forgive me. Allie? Hi, Callie. Is everything okay? We missed you at the party. Allie, I 
mixed up the dates and I thought your party was today. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Callie. It's really not. Yes, it is. It's not, Allie. You're one of my best friends and I had your super secret slime gift ready to go. Oops, I ruined your surprise. I'm the worst friend ever. Whoa, Callie, calm down. You are not a bad friend. And I'm not mad. Why are you not mad, Allie? Well, I was a little sad you missed the party, but I know you. I knew you wouldn't miss it unless you had a good reason. You made an honest mistake. We all make mistakes. But we could all forgive each other, just like God forgives us. And that's today's Bible lesson. It's time for our Bible story. Today in our Bible story, John the Baptist introduces everyone to the Savior, Jesus. Oh, wow. I'm guessing that was a big deal. You bet it was. Do you remember what John was doing? He was telling the people about Jesus. And? And baptizing them. You got it. John the Baptist baptized people in the river and taught about forgiveness. He taught people to say, I'm sorry. Yes, John told people they needed to tell God that they were sorry for disobeying God. Just like water washes away dirt on the outside, God's forgiveness washes away sins on the inside. So John forgave everyone's sins? No, only God could forgive sins. All John could do was tell people how they could get ready in their hearts. John told the people that the Savior was going to be so much more powerful than he was. And the Savior could completely forgive sins. We're still talking about Jesus, right? Still Jesus. So when Jesus was ready to do the work God sent him to do, he started out by being baptized by John too. But I thought Jesus was more powerful than John. That's what John said. John couldn't believe it. Jesus, the Son of God, who had no sin, wanting to be baptized by him? But Jesus did it because he wanted to obey God. He knew it's what God wanted. That's so cool. When John baptized Jesus, the sky opened up and God spoke and said, You are my son, whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Wow. When that happened, the people knew that Jesus was God's son and he had come to save everyone. The Savior who could forgive sins was finally here. God sent Jesus to earth to forgive everyone's sins. He even got baptized, even though he had no sin, just to show us the way. God forgave all the sins of the world through Jesus so that we can learn to forgive each other. That's so true. Jesus is the one that taught us to forgive. I'm so thankful I have such an understanding friend like you. You know I would always forgive you too, right? Yep, I know that. I love you and love our friendship. I'm not perfect and you aren't. None of us are. So it was a mistake and I forgive you. See, we can learn to forgive each other through Jesus. I like that. Can I come over now and give you your gift? A uh, hundred percent, yes, I insist. I'm on my way. See you in 10 minutes. Can't wait. So friends, I gotta run. I'm really glad Allie forgave me. Have you ever said something or done something that you didn't mean to do? Did you say you were sorry? Did they forgive you? Jesus is so forgiving, and I really love that we can forgive each other too. Love you, friends. Thanks for tuning in today and growing with me. Peace. You know, when we realize that we need Jesus, to forgive us for doing those wrong things that we shouldn't do, we can ask God to help us. We can know forgiveness through Jesus. And that's a great reason to celebrate. I mean, it's as easy as saying, God, I am sorry I messed up. Please forgive me. And guess what? You're forgiven. It's that easy. That's a pretty awesome thing. So have you guys been practicing your memory verse for this week? It's John 14, 6, and it goes like this. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the light. No one comes to the Father except through me.
Good job, guys. All right, well, that is all I have for you. Let's pray together. Can't forget to pray. And um, then I'll send you on your way to have a great week. So let's say, um, dear God, thank you so much for sending Jesus to forgive us. Thank you for loving us so much. And thank you for um, just always being willing to forgive us and, and help us to learn how to forgive other people too so we don't hurt, hold those bad thoughts in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great week. I hope you remember all week that God is always there for you. If you need help, you just have to talk to him and pray and he'll be there for you. So um, have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.